going to be recording the KFC dating sim. Really f fucking excited. I'm going to try to get that drumstick, if you know what I mean. Oh, so much text. Uh, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could say, yo, oh, you could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up. Now, 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 your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, that doesn't stop. <laughs> um, up and at them. Is that supposed to be like a K-pop band or something? I don't know. I like this poster though, it's pretty sweet with the chicken. Uh, lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. It's a wordy title. Uh, your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Um, you need to take this seriously. You better make sure. Oh, I'd, I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. Damn right. <laughs> you confidently grab a biscuit, spread out the door, and head off to class. Just what you need to get your blood flowing. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. <laughs> I love her. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Absolutely. Uh, good morning, doctor. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm, because I sure am, excited, a little nervous, okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the, it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? I don't cook with love, I only cook with spite. Pure, unadulterated spite and passive aggression, that's what flavors my food. Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents. She always held herself to a very high standard. For those of you who don't know, I actually went to culinary school. I studied professional pastry arts. <laughs> uh, ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Who's letting their kids play in quicksand? <laughs> but with University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Is there like an acronym for this? Um, because that's a lot of words. <laughs> three-day only semesters. Yeah. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss <laughs> that she chipped in the tooth practicing on a mannequin. Happens to the best of us. Uh, should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Um, let's, let's give her a little pep talk. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and our had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told me that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? Ooh. I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my and I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. Aww. You know 
what, maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Damn right you do, I've also got some... I mean, my bangs aren't as killer, but they're there. <laughs> can you believe I cut them myself? That's awesome. You can definitely believe it. Oh, don't be rude, they look great. <laughs> I like her braids too, it's cute. Uh, I, uh, I cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand and onto the ground. Hey! It's... <sighs> Why you just fucking me? It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. That you know is not serve safe. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Dr. Shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. They are perfectly normal shins. I'll have you know. They're kind of covered in bruises from work, though. <laughs> Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that's actually Ashley, but she has to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone else. <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Why? <laughs> We're not going to let you or your weird insults get to us. You tell them. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. I already love this dude. <laughs> Van Van, you ring ring. He looks like a JoJo character, I love it. <laughs> You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. That uniform is also not serve safe, where... <laughs> He's missing like half his shirt. <laughs> I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. That feels unnecessarily rude of me. I apologize. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Ah, oh, I love the confidence. Or maybe they hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. When the first day of, with the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. <laughs> See you later, losers. Got him. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing against the window directly next to it. <sighs> I feel it. Oh man. Oh man. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! <laughs> I think you mean thank you? <laughs> my name is Pop. I was after- I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. How dare I try to tell him what his name is? <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm Doctor. So, are you gonna make me hold the store all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? <laughs> I think it's just you. <laughs> He's cute in like a puppy way. Uh, you both shrug your shoulders before following in him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Who is that a poster of? I don't know. 
Oh, I love him already. <laughs> the scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Although that's not surf safe with the spatula in his mouth, I'll have you know. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Oh, his name is Sprinkles. So good. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? Mind your business. <laughs> you must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Okay, so there that's not a great acronym, but it works. It's shorter. Uh, please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. You tell him! Sprinkles Dog. Great name. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. <laughs> Cherry blossoms, I'm about to meet my true love. Uh, out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. It's chilly, someone close the window. And then, he walks in. <laughs> You're immediately swept up at work of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. He is looking kinda like daddy though, I'm not gonna lie. It's him, it's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. <laughs> Colonel Harlan Sanders, interesting. That's kind of a cool first name though. I've never heard that. Uh, Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkle. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me <laughs> Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the class. Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins, begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty. Sweats a lot. <laughs> Wrecked me. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporates entirely. There's been a few times where I've wanted to just evaporate. Hold on a second. Nobody talks about my friend like that. You both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is it with all your really weird insults? Oh man, I still remember in high school, there were kids that I went to school with since like third grade and they didn't know my name. <laughs> Besides, when doctor sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Damn right, I'm like a twilight vampire. Take a moment to clean yourself up. All right, it's reasonable. It's a good thing. Thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. It does get hot. Uh, Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. So many words. Sorry, I'm like probably moving a lot. I'm bouncing my knee because I'm anxious, but that's like always. <laughs> Uh, the place of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. But it's going to be overpriced as hell, though. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. My broom. Who is this broom? And I respect the sporks. They are the most efficient eating utensil. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <laughs> Hi guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss- Quiet! 
late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? It's so rude. Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Oh, I feel it so hard. I, I had teachers in school mark me absent so many times when I was there. It was legitimately a regular thing. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... <laughs> You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. <sighs> this poor kid. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you students, that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Link made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. I love him. <laughs> the class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. He's adorable. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. <laughs> Did I ask you? <laughs> but you're not wrong. Uh, you've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide and try to butter him up by giving him a treat for your pocket, but what kind? Um, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken? I mean, let's go with chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with the chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite, aww, toe beans. <laughs> Little toe beans. <laughs> well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a the coating of warm doggy drool. It happens. Uh, you see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. That is correct. I mean, what if you're on a walk and you see some guy walking his dog, his cute dog, uh, and you're like, Hey, can I give your dog a treat? Can I pet your dog? And he's like, hell yeah, dude. But you're like, Oh snap, forgot my dog treats, and the dog just hates you. The end. Uh, <laughs> settle down, young chefs. Chef. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seat and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Ooh. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey doctor, there's still a seat here. It seems no one has claimed this seat next to me if you're interested. Oh, two good options, but which will you choose? Sit by best friend or sit by Colonel Sanders? Um, I'm trying to get uh, anime husbando uh, Sanders over here. You may take your seat- oh, you move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. Senior year, bro. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes him- that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. Incorrect. I half-ass half my shit, and I'm satisfied. <laughs> uh, that's so inspiring. <laughs> A little off-topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. 
Yay, a quiz about me! <laughs> this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. Oh. <laughs> Um, if a train traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Um, it is extremely important. That's right. A forest is to tree as chicken is to... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm so smart! <laughs> Man, I should have been graduating high school with like honors, straight up valedictorian, but nope, I barely graduated. Uh, what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? If they said like a comically organized spoon right here, I'd have to sacrifice for it because of the, the fucking judgy spoon. It's so good. Um, spork. Let's be honest here. That's right! <laughs> what food is best for a broken heart? A pancake that looks like silly face. That's... <laughs> camel meat. I've heard camel meat is really gross. Um, I mean, yes, a pancake that looks like a silly face. But uh, I'm guessing anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt is the correct answer. Bingo! Uh, is Sprinkles a good boy? Fuck yeah! Uh, why would anyone ever say no? He is a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He's the best boy! You know it. That's right. Perfect score. 5 out of 5. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? You look. <laughs> You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Thank you, I keep it smooth. Hot diggity doctor. <laughs> I love that played out. Uh, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Ooh, important indeed. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna keep recording. Uh, wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Oh, this guy. Is it about lunch? Are you finally going to give him a name? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Colonel Sanders is a Chad, though. But, man, I feel like you can be a Chad and not be like a dick. <laughs> hey, I was. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <laughs> but I. Shh. <laughs> lunch, lunch, lunch. Oh, that poor guy. She said, shh. No, not me, too. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. <laughs> that must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's talented, but were the rumors true? What a pose. Is this? <laughs> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his hand, head. Its contents glimmer in the Light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? 
What a novel concept. What a pretentious phrase. Oh, man. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. Oh, you tease. Which do you think we want your secret recipe, dude? Pshaw. Nah, my dude. Nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament <laughs> in case uh, one of those ingredients is a poison. Got him. <laughs> He looks around nervously to see if anyone is laughing at his sick burn. Oh, his face. What a mood. I feel every time I make a joke and no one reacts like this is my exact emotion. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley is prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. <laughs> you see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Oh please. Mm. Well, Van, Van the Man Man, if you don't want any... I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wired. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh man, that's so extra. I've definitely had food like this though. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Um, focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment. And Everything that tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. <laughs> um, I'm gonna see what it tells me about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. <laughs> Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Ooh, ooh. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? Crack cocaine, baby! Haha, <laughs> how bold of you to come out and ask. Chicken Scepter, let's go! It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've, I've got some of my own that I'm willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. Wow, two whole days. It's like forever. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. It absolutely does. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. Are you gonna be Grandpa? Uh, Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone 
and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but I can't, but you can't tell. I use, uh, crack cocaine. It's something my great grandma taught me, I bet. Crack cocaine, wow! You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure what you, <laughs> where you'd get some if you searched. Because you're a narc, bro. Uh, when you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sand has disappeared while everyone else is still in the cafeteria. You decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Make him to show your own strength. Uh, wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. Um, yeah, I don't want to mess with him right off the bat. Uh, and it's it's 11 herbs and spices. I'm not going to tell him to add another one. Yeah, I keep the cannon here. <laughs> modest but thoughtful. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery. It was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, doctor. I know it's just capitalized because that's the way the game does the name that you choose, but it feels so aggressive. <laughs> I feel like everybody's yelling at me. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. Ooh. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. Oh, wow. Um. Okay. Uh, it <laughs> it's so good. So I think I'm going to leave it off here. Um, this is very fun. Uh, I tried to play this on Twitch, uh, and I got a little bit farther than this on there, but only one person watched the stream. So if you're that person, probably don't need to bother watching this video. Uh, too late to tell you now though, because it's the end of the video. Aha! Um, but yeah, thank, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that this wasn't a total lot um i'm also hoping it saves we'll see um but i hope you all have a lovely day uh feel free to subscribe and comment Ooh, next time i might wear one of my frilly aprons for this that'd be fun um, my streaming schedule will never be consistent because I work swing shift. So, uh, do with that what you will. Um, have a lovely day and fare thee well. <laughs>